Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and we're going to be looking at a game called Hammerhelm. Create your dwarf character and build a flourishing town above ground. Complete quests, craft weapons, and armor. Defeat dangerous enemies and be the leader your townspeople need. It is $15. It is on Steam, and I just wanted to say thank you to the developers for sending me a key. So, I played this game quite a long time ago. Um, I've got a save here. I wish it told me the date. I'm thinking 2017 or something. I don't even know. And then I played a test game just to get myself uh, all situated. I'm not even going to try and play that because that was in like freaking, well, I think 2017. So let's get started here. Uh, this is kind of like a survival town builder. It's kind of like Alec, uh, that Alec Kingdoms game. So we're going to take a look at it and see what's what. All right. Tunic color. What kind of tunic color? Blue. Sounds good. Hairstyle. Yeah. Mohawk. Yeah. It looks pretty. Nah, yeah, maybe. Mohawk. There's the Mohawk. All right, I'm gonna go with this one. Looks all disheveled. Let's make give him black hair, beard style. Uh, can you make a clean, clean shaven dwarf? I'll just do that. That's a nice beard right there. All right, he looks badass. Let's get going. Uh, my name will be. Let's see. How about Max? Nope, not with it. Not with a capital X. Not with a capital X. <gasps> Bowser. There you go. He looks like a Max Bowser. Let's get started. I did play a game for like a half hour just to, you know, get used to the controls and how the game plays and everything. It's, it seems like a really fun game. I'm really interested in it. And we do have a prologue here. For as long as anyone can remember, the dwarves of the Hammerhelm clan have lived in their mountain stronghold centuries ago. I'm not, I'm going to butcher names. Um, so let's just be, have some fun with it. Um, Bolor, B Bolor, but, but lover, I don't know. Uh, the king of dwarves left left on a secret mission to protect the stronghold. In his absence, a council was formed to rule. As the centuries passed and but, but lover did not return and resources began to become sparse, the clan fell into disarray, deciding it was time for a drastic. Like I said, they put a they put a um they put a little group together to rule until he got back. So king's going away for a little while. We'll rule as a you know. And when he comes back, and he never came back, of course he didn't. Uh, it was time for a drastic change. You proposed to the council leaving the stronghold and establishing a colony above ground. The council, the council is making their decision today. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go too well. I don't think dwarves love living uh, above ground. Let's speak with this dude. Thank goodness I found you, my friend. The council rejected your proposal to move to move above ground. Worse yet, they want to banish you. Okay, that's a bit much, isn't it? Like. Hey, maybe we should move underground. Move over ground. Okay, let's talk about it. I hate him. Let's banish him. Okay, what should I do? I don't think there is any benefit to staying. We should get you out of here. God, it sounds like they're going to murder me. Uh, you'll be able to leave on your own terms and take some things with you. All right, what about, what about the others who wish to join us? They'll be fine. They still believe in your idea and are willing to make the trip once you have found a new area. A uh, suitable home. I, I put the word area in there. Once you find a new suitable home area. I, I like the word areas. I'm putting it in there. I left some equipment in your dining hall for you to take with you. Uh, will you be safe? Yes, the council is now for blood. They just don't think you're a good influence on the others. I will stay behind and help those who wish to leave find their way to you. Sounds good. Reminds me of... I used to have a friend, Dwayne, and his parents didn't think I was a good influence either. <laughs> so, I'm used to this. All right, so we're going to go this way. Nope, we're not going to go that way. Are we going to go... We're not going to go that way. I think we got to go talk to this person first, maybe? Hmm? Hmm? You want to talk? Nope, you don't want to talk. Okay. So let's go to the left, then. I thought I had to go up there, but I guess not. Got to go this way. All right, let's get some beer. Glug, 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 glug. All right. And let's do the chest in the middle of the floor for no reason. We're going to loot all. Right click, right click. That's our weapon. Um, a simple hammer and our shield. We'll put our health potion up here and our weak stamina potion up there. All right. Now we got some, now we got some, now we can fight, fight the council. Let's go fight the council. Sounds good. What does my quest say? Speak with Callie. Callie! Where are you? Isn't that Superman's dad or something? Kalel or Callie? I don't know, whatever. I'm not a DC guy. <laughs> Those weapons and potions should be enough to help you find a suitable place for us to live. I placed a pickaxe and hatchet in your backpack too. Where is everyone? Everyone is still with the council. You're all clear. Uh, where should I go next? 
Go through the door behind. I have to do all these before I can do end conversation. Go through the doors behind me. These lead to an old mine. Uh, take you to the surface. Thank you. Don't thank me. Just find a nice, nice spot. So this is pretty cool. Like in all these like town survival building games, right? You just build a town and people automatically join your town. Like just you know whatever. This is actually establishing a place that these people are coming from. Um, in these town building games, like well, just people like in the area, people whatever they join your town and whatnot, and it, it makes enough sense. But this is really giving you. Uh, a backstory on where all these people like they want to get out of here you know they're just waiting for you to do the hard work and then they'll go ah, now that's not true when they get there they're gonna work hard they're gonna be chopping trees and all that all that good stuff banished from your homeland for the for the rebellious act of suggesting dwarves could live above ground you have spent months wandering and seeking new fertile lands to start your life in the open air you have finally found such a spot Far enough away from the stronghold as not to anger the old clan, but close enough that your success will attract others who, like you, are tired of living underground. So I'm going to be honest, like, I would imagine the council and the, and the dwarves who live in my, you know, quote-unquote homeland, uh, they're going to be pretty pissed when I start, like, taking people from, like, you know, they're going to be like, oh, like, everyone they lose is people they don't have mining and doing work for them, so. As you build the town, they will happily come seek you out and live in their new home. They are not the only ones watching, however. As your town grows in wealth, so will the threat from the goblins and orcs. Cool, this is where we get into the survival stuff. Um, except for eating and drinking, which is also... I don't think there's anything to drink. I think you gotta keep your guys' people fed, though. They have already begun building small encampments to prepare the attack for the first dwarves. Uh, attack the first dwarves who aren't protected by the underground fortress. Okay. So, in other words, we have, we're gonna need a big town hall to house our giant balls. All right, open the build menu, place a storehouse and wooden house. Okay. So this is just telling me, you know, camp stuff overlapping, although the roads, the, the actual buildings come with roads. So that's pretty neat. I do like that. All right. So we got the storehouse. And I'm going to put that right in the middle-ish. Middle-ish. That's kind of middle-ish. Looks good to me. And then we're going to build a wooden house. So we're going to put that right next to it. There we go. What will your town be called? Crap, I didn't think about this. Uh, Max, Max Town. Because I am so creative. Alright, so now we've got new townspeople we need to choose two. Alright? So we've got traits and um, we've got hard worker, enjoys labor, gathers resources more quickly, and scholar, enjoys studying magic, but hates doing magic. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> hard worker, enjoys labor. Gathers resources more quickly. Scholar hates labor. <laughs> Enjoys studying magic, but hates doing manual labor. If this isn't manual labor, I don't know what is. So I don't know how to figure that out. Um, sickly is more likely to catch illness, and happy is more likely to be in a good mood. Okay. Um, strong is strong and can carry more resources. Claustrophobic. Ooh, that's me. Uh, don't don't let him watch Mr. Ballin videos. Um, hates being in the mines or in tight spaces. Well, that's why he left. So. Uh, should I take, I'm definitely going to take this one. Should I take old sick, happy, happy, sick, or should I take, um, strong cave, non cave diver, strong, non cave diver. Hmm. I'm going to take him just because I want a man and a woman. Maybe they'll have babies or something. Who knows? Okay. So there we go. What's next on the old agenda? Speak with Talon, the worker. Okay. Can I rename my workers? See, I'm going to have to look into that town manager uh really quickly swap job change goal what is this all right i'll look at this off camera I'll see if there's a way i can uh oh rename npc cool all right well i get to working in the comments guys anyone anyone in the i'll tell you what the people who say the most funny shit in the comments that i i think is the funniest shit i'll, I'll put your name in the game all right speak with talon is there something i can help you with um so you could talk about Tells you what he is. You can tell him to get stone or wood. Um, you can ask about his mood, right? It tells you exactly what the mood's doing, why is what. And then we give you the quest info. This is the perfect spot to build our town, but I saw some goblin camps to the east. I think they followed us here, and they don't look friendly. What a surprise. All right. So um, if you look in the top left-hand side where I'm getting my quest, there's like a little, I don't know what you would call that, like a red kind of... Shoot, I always forget what a six-sided thing is. Is that a hexagon? 
or yeah, I think that's a hexagon. Anyway, you know, red on the outside, yellow on the middle. That's going to show up in my compass, which is on the top right hand side. So it's going to show me exactly where to go for these quests. So, oh, easy there, buddy. All right, so we're going to come over here and smack some goblins around. And really nicely, that whole thing on the bottom will go away when I get out of town. Thank God. All right, tells you a bunch about fighting. If you want to read all that, go ahead and pause the video. I'm just not going to pay attention and then get killed because I'm a bad fighter. No, I, I know how to do some of it. All right, right now I'm just going to do this. And you're dead. Open the chest. Okay. So, did he, did that guy... Oh, yeah, okay, I see. All right, yeah, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Put those two in there. All right, beautiful. Now let's go find the next goblin camp. Ba -ba -ba -doo, ba -ba -ba -doo. It's a pretty good tutorial. Uh, it really brings you through a lot of stuff you need to know. Like at some point, I'm going to come into contact with spellcasters and teach you how to deal with them. Tab switches which guy you're fighting. Okay. So I'm going to hit him. And I'm going to roll out of the way. Hit him. Am I I'm on the wrong guy? Crap. Okay, let's try again. I'm not really sure that, like, the... Oh, yeah, I could block. Wait, can I only block the guy I'm fighting? Hold on. Oh, no, you could block it. Well, maybe, maybe I was fighting him at the time, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. By the way, any uh, tips are more than welcome. Always look forward to your comments. If you want to see more of this series, make sure you watch the videos. Like, depending on how well this does, people telling me in the comments the like ratio, it's all going to come into play if I do more. So if you want to see more, make sure you let me know. All right, so right here, it's going to tell me about spell casters. We'll charge up the spell before casting it. These spells cannot be blocked. You must roll out of the way. Spell casters are not affected by status effects such as knockdowns and stuns. So, here we go. Whoa. Oh. I thought he hurt himself because, like, when he was done with his spell, he turned sideways and it looked like he had no hit points left. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna take him out. Oh boy. That, that charge up timer is a killer on those guys. Oh, I'm almost dead, speaking of killers. Alright, we got this guy. Boom! Okay, and we have leveled up. So we're gonna pick a skill. And I don't. I'm not really sure these skills work. Like, I don't think I can pick. Like, I wanted to pick something over here, and it wouldn't let me. Right? It won't let me pick anything. I guess you have to go from left to right. I was hoping I could choose. Like, it's kind of weird you can't choose. Maybe I'm missing something. But I have to pick the kick. So, <laughs> plus it rhymes. Oh, if it rhymes, you know it's good. And I, uh, that's F to kick. So we can kick to knock people down, and that will be awesome. All right, what's next on the uh, old quest agenda? Something is in the storehouse. Something in the storehouse, in the storehouse cage, not is in the storehouse, although something I guess is in the storehouse. Anyway, I digress. Something in the storehouse is taking things without permission. Investigate. Okay. I will be happy to investigate. Out of the way, Sh Shurzan and Talon, whatever your name is. All right. Look at this guy. Ooh. Oh, I never healed. Crap, 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 crap. Hold on. I'll be right back. Stop. No. Stop. Can I not break away from combat? I guess not. All right. That's fine. Come on. There we go. Hey, can he hit his own guy? I think when I, once I'm in combat, I'm in combat. Yeah, you got me. Good job. You hit me for like four hit points. All right. Okay, so I got a bunch of gold. I was like, where's all my loot, man? Open the build menu, place another house, and a metal workshop. Metal worker shop. <laughs> okay. And wait for them to be constructed. Sounds good. Let's do that. Can I, like, sleep through the night or something? As soon as I put down another house, I get to choose some more dwarves. So we've got weak, is weak and cannot carry a lot. And foodie, loves to cook and will off, often produce more meals. So that's not bad. Oaf. Loves doing manual labor of any kind. Um, meticulous. Loves to craft and sometimes make mess. Yeah, that, that one's definitely one of them. Um, drunkard. Drinks more beer than a typical dwarf. Green Thumb. Loves to grow crops but hates to be in the mines. Loves to cook often. Is weak. Cannot carry a lot. Hmm. 
Uh, oh boy, that's a that's a tough one. I kind of want to go farming over cooking. Loves to grow. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go cooking because often produce more meals. And we're also supposed to put down a what is that metal something or other? So this is all. Let's go with shops, storehouse, metal worker shop. There you go. All right. I think this way is going to be the houses. That's going to be like the um, residential area. So this way will be the work area. So we'll put that right there. Okay. Uh, and wait for them to be constructed. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we got the metal worker building. Pretty freaking cool. Is Can we go inside? Oh, I can't go inside. Can you go inside here? There we go. We can go inside there. It's kind of weird I can't walk through that door. I guess that's just for the um, the person who works here. Speaking of, we need to assign a worker. So let's press V. And assign assign job to dwarf. Dwarves who have a quest. Dwarves who have a quest or are building structures will not appear on this list. Okay. Alright, sounds good. So we are good. This is a metalworking metalworking thing, so I'm not really sure who would be good for this. I wish it told their like said their things here. Because I don't remember what these things are. Um, chopping tree. Uh, does it say on the right hand side? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, strong and carry more resources. Hates being in the mine. So that doesn't matter. Loves to craft sometimes. Oh, so that's got to be it, right? Loves to craft and sometimes make masterwork items. I'm imagining that that's got to be it. So we're going to put you right there. There you go. Make me some masterwork, master craft items, will you? Speak with the metal worker about crafting copper items. Okay, I will do that. What's up? We should go in first person, by the way. Um, copper items. Thanks for building this shop. I can craft better items for you if you find some copper ore. The mine entrance is blocked, but I know where you can find some ore nearby. Okay, well, I guess you're going to tell me. Oh, man. <laughs> do the trees grow back or what? Because they are really deforesting this place. All right, so there should be some copper over here somewhere. Oh, we got some enemies out here, or what? Looks like we got some... Oh, no, that's, that's copper. <laughs> I saw the hit point bar, and I was like, yeah, enemy. So you'll automatically switch to your pickaxe, which is pretty freaking dope. I appreciate that. I like the small things, you know? All right, so we got another one over here. Two remaining copper ores, Okay. And then another one over here. Yeah, it looks like there's some ruins over there or something. Got to do. Man, this place is freaking huge. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, this game's pretty dope. And there's all our copper. Cool. Craft a new item at the metal work. So do I craft the item or do I tell her to do it? I'd imagine I would tell her to do it since she's the master crafter. You know, she has a chance at creating something really like above and beyond. But it says craft, so I'm not sure if that means tell her to do it or do it myself. We're going to find out in a minute. Let's get over here. I'll put her to work. going to put you to work. Go to work. T. Craft. Um, so, yeah, we make the ore. Okay, craft. Is that all of it, or will she just... Oh, I see. Oh, so she's not really crafting. I'm kind of crafting it through her. Okay. Fair enough. Craft a new item. So can I craft any item? Like it's up to me. You're gonna leave. You're gonna leave choices to me. That's uh, that's a recipe for disaster. By the way, you can make healing potions by getting mushrooms. Um, we can make a copper hammer. We can make a copper axe. We can make a copper sword. Can you see the stats? Power attack does massive damage to your target. Power attack has a chance to stun nearby monsters. Okay. Boy, I don't, see. I don't know which ones are better. You know. Um, we can make armor. Shield. I guess a weapon. Oh, what is that? Refined Jade. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, look at all this. Lights. Displays for your weapons. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh my god. Diamond. Okay, let's, let's stay focused. So do I want to stick with the hammer or I'll go to sword? I think I'm going to go to sword. I like swords. There we go. Now we got a sword. Looking like a badass. Alright, what's our next quest? Open the build menu and place a mine. Sounds good to me. 
I keep pressing B to open the build menu. Alright, so that, is that a shop? Uh, I don't see one. Miscellaneous? Yes. Oh. Wait. Alright, it looks a little bit like an iron ingot, but it's actually stone. So I went ahead. Uh, basically, all you have to do is just go hit one of those little stone... One of those little stones on the ground over there. And you can loot some stone. Then you come over to your... You know, resource drop-off area. And you put it in. And there you go. So now I should be able to make a mine. There we go. Alright, so... Where can I place this? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, cool! Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that. So you basically make your own mine. Because when I used to play the game, you just had a mine there. It was already there. So, that is pretty freaking cool. Alright, just put it right there. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. I love the way you gotta put it on the on the edge of the hill right there. Oh, that's cool. Enter and clear the mines near town so you can begin gathering ore. Is, is, oh, okay, so this thing's automatically built. Alright, the mines are new, but the construction likely drew the attention of nearby creatures. You must clear them out before people can begin mining. Alright, so another has gotta come in here and kick some ass. That's right. Slashy, slashy. That's what you get. Hey, drop a chest, bro. You cheap son of a... Should I be mining while I'm in here as well? I don't know. I'm going to. Because I can. I like to get my hands dirty. I don't think these nodes actually, like, are considered actual nodes. Like, I think when, like, people come in here, it'll just be like, okay, you get this amount of stuff, right? I don't think me mining it is going to take anything away from them mining. You... Dirty son of a bee. There you go. That's what you get. Don't don't mess with me. Don't mess with old Max Bowser. All right, let's go this way. This is the this is what I remember from last time. Although the caves look a lot better. It's good. They almost got like a little bit of a cell shaded graphics to them. I wish I had a ranged weapon, so I could like pull enemies to me. Get over here! G. Oh, look at that. 33 mushrooms, man. I'm going to make a lot of health potions with that, boy. Speaking of health potions. <laughs> should probably pay more attention to my hit points. Um, Oh. Leave the mines and open that. I press escape. I'm not sure if escape made me leave the mines or if they just made me leave the mines on my own. Uh, we're going to save and keep playing. Leave the mines and open it and assign a miner. Okay. Alrighty then. What do we got here? Strong and can carry more resources. Doesn't like being in mines or tight spaces. Okay, you're out. Enjoys studying magic but hates doing manual labor. Enjoys <laughs> enjoys labor, gathers resources more quickly. Um, we cannot carry a lot. Okay, so it's going to be you. Beautiful. Did I level up? Yes, I did. So can I pick one of these now? Chance to gather extra quality stone and carrying stone. Am I going to be like... It, now, okay, so here's a question. Here's a question for you guys. Let's say I pick... Quarry. Chance to get extra quality stone when quarrying stone. Does that mean for me? Or my workers? Because I don't plan on doing a lot of quarrying. Myself. But... Alright, let's just, let's just go for it to hell with it. I don't know who it's for, but... We'll pick it, because it sounds dope. Speak with Tilin. The worker ask about getting a lantern. Yeah, because it's dark. Okay, fair enough. Where are you? Hold up. Hold up. We gotta have a chat. Quest. Go to explore caves. Want your lantern? Do lanterns. We can make some. Wait, we can make one with some fireflies. Okay. Find some flyer for his new willow grove. Get get for the lantern. Okay. I will do that. Alright, we got... I think this is taking us to the camp. Maybe you have to rescue the fireflies? Sure, let's rescue them. Slashy, slashy. You missed, punk. Oh yeah, I should make more healing potions, shouldn't I? Uh, there we go, fireflies. Cool, is that all I needed? Bring back, yeah, alright, cool, we got the fireflies. And the sun is coming up, hells yeah. By the way, I put someone on stone duty, since I didn't have any stone. I had two people chopping trees, 
uh, as you can tell, the fact that there's no more trees in the area. Uh, and I know it on stone, so I, I, I remedied that. Alright, we need to bring back the fireflies. Did they go inside? Uh, nope, it's not you. Where's the person I gotta talk to? You in your house? Hey! What's going on? Look at all the, look at all the furniture. It's got, like, ghost images. That's interesting. There you are. Come on. Hold up there, buddy. Here. These fireflies are perfect. This lantern will help light your way at night and when you are underground. Uh, what do you think we should do next? We're going to need some food. Yeah, I mean, like, I think we should have done food a while ago. Uh, so a farm and cookhouse might be a good idea. Plus more houses so more dwarves can live here. Well, until we get the food flowing, I don't think it's a smart move to bring in more dwarves. Um, and carpenters to furnish the homes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was just talking about, the ghost images. What do you think the others would like? We'll want to build a well for water. Oh, do they have to drink? Oh, I don't know about that. I didn't know that. And some decor to make the town more appealing. Building things like that will help everyone feel better. Okay, any other thoughts? Yes, as we grow, the town will want to start finding better ore for your weapons and armor. We can build more mines as you discover new ore. Sounds good to me. Did I level up again? No. I can't, I can't tell what the blue, 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 blue. All right, well, let's, uh, let's build a farm. I think it is... Uh, of utmost importance, we build a farm. So there we go. We need more stone. See, I should have had people doing stone the entire time. So now I now I don't have enough stone because I didn't have everyone doing stone. Find the caves near town and clear it. Oh, I thought we were done with quests. Okay. Well, I was going to... You know, I really think I should gather more stone and get food going. Here, check this out. Uh, and the townsfolk right here. Resources, meals needed. I only have 16. So, oh, do my guys need tools? Gained? Needed. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that. Now, should I do the quest or should I do the farm? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off on the quest and do the farm. I really want to do the farm. So let's get some stone. Okay, this thing for meals doesn't say um, needed. It says net. I just looked at it quickly and thought it said needed. Um, I don't know how I'm getting meals. I don't think anyone's, like, this says how many meals you have on each day. So, like, I had 200 meals on day one, and then, what, zero on day two? Or I'm not really sure this resource thing works, to be um, perfectly honest. But, you know, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to look forward to some comments, do some uh, research myself as well. Okay, so I did get the stone, so let's go ahead and build ourselves a farm. There we go. And this is going to be industrial. This is going to be, you know what? Um, that's a workplace. Shoot, shoot we should have left a room for a... Um, a road. Actually, are the, do the sides count as roads? No, the sides really don't count as roads. So I should have left. I should have left spot for a road in there, but it's all right. Maybe I'll make the farms um, up here. Nah, I kind of want to be down here. All right, this is pretty freaking dope. So here is my dilemma. I like I said, I want over here to be residential area. I want over here to be like crafting area, like things like stone, uh, stone masons. You know, basically shops for the most part. And then I want it down here to be a road that would go to farmland, okay? Now, I got two problems here. I've already got my first part of the building area done. I would like to put a road down here. So I realized that you can actually do left alt, right click to pick up buildings, which is pretty freaking cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over there. Also, there's an enter road placement mode, but I need a stonemason for that. Um, so I kind of wish I had that now, but the fact that I can move stuff around makes it not really matter that much so anyway what i want to do is i want to put this in here just like that or maybe down here now you know what this is what i want to do i'm going to pick this up and we're going to move it around like that and yeah just like that that's where i want that and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the farm and we'll put the farm down here and then this will come down to farmland and i could work with that so we're going to put a farm right there and then the next thing we do that will be like a building, like a shop, will go above this and connect into these roads. And then we can keep going that way with building the shops. Yes, that will work wonderfully. Hell yeah. Okay. So that, yeah, that's looking cool. I like that. I like it a lot. All right. So I don't know what he's doing. I don't know how the farm stuff is going to work, but I think we need to go find the cave near town and clear it out. So where is the cave that's near town? So, I, I'm not really sure how to get gold in this game. 
But I'm thinking you just get it by doing quests, as far as I can tell. Um, I'm not gaining gold in any way, uh, like, just from, like, my workers. I think you just have to do quests and, and clear stuff out in order to get gold. So, we'll keep doing the quests, because I'd, like I'd like to make more, like, food stuff. Here, we should probably kill everything we come across, too. Um, in the interest of getting as much gold as possible. What's up, my man? Alright, we just completed a farm. Now, I wonder if the farm itself can feed us. I don't know. Like, in a lot of these games, the farm itself will not feed you. You have to make meals out of it. So, we'll see how that goes. I went ahead and made some more healing potions, by the way. They're super expensive, though. So, when you get, like, 30-something, you know... Ooh, what is that? Five handles? Okay. Yeah, when you get, like... Interesting. When you get, like, 30-something, you know... Of the mushrooms, you think, oh, I got mushrooms for days. You ain't got mushrooms for shit. Because they take five each. So, yeah, that ain't much. Oh, what the what the hell is this? Find the, find the cave near town and clear it. So, is this an evil town? They've got skulls on their walls. Oh, okay, so it is an evil town. Oh, boy. Dude, this game has done so much. Uh, the cave of emptiness looks newly inhabited. The stench of evil permeates every crevice. Be wary. Be wary. They should be wary. Because old KJ48 it's in the house. There you go. I should probably try and avoid stuff. Can I grab these? No. I should probably try and avoid those hits. But I'm not. <laughs> really wish I had like a ranged weapon though. That's the thing. I wish I had a bow or something. All right, here we go. Swing, 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 dodge. Swing, 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 dodge. And swing. All right, cool. Sounds good to me. It's a, it's a winning combination right there. All right, so we got two of them. This is not going to be easy. Should we go after the spellcaster? I think we should. All right. Swing, 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 dodge! I didn't know- I thought the other one was a spellcaster! Alright, well I guess we're not going after the spellcaster. Alright, it looks like we made the right decision either way. Yeah, I thought that guy who I targeted was a spellcaster, but I was- I was wrong. Cool. 36. Hell yeah. Boo, 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 boo. I didn't see gold. Did I get gold? Yep, I got gold. I got 524 now. So I can now make the next thing. Oh, we still got some more stuff down here. Anything else over here? It's kind of weird that they would have a... They would have a room down here past the... You know, quest and it doesn't do anything. And thank you for that, like... Escape leading me out. Let's go Let's go check that ore deposit. Um, I don't know why I need another copper ore deposit. Um, I've got more... I, I don't know what the guy's getting out of the mine, to be honest. I thought he was getting ore, but maybe he's just getting stone. I don't know. I've got more copper than my, my thing can handle. You know, I should make more copper items. Tools. Yeah, I mean, oh god, I got a lot of... Yeah, what the hell am I thinking? Alright, well, let's hit this copper ore, and then we're gonna get back and make some more copper items. Alright, so this is a little odd. I know I had 25 copper when I left here. Why is copper being used without my say-so? I mean, the only thing I can think of is they're making tools for themselves. Which, if that's the case, fine. But I'd like to know that. It's kind of weird. Okay. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and spend all our copper now. Beef our guy up a bit. Craft. Copper. See, I'm not making these. Like, I'm not telling him to make these copper ingots, so. It's kind of weird. Alright, so, uh, we don't need a copper hammer, but a copper axe. And you know what? Let's go with armor first. Copper shoulder armor. Uh, copper horn helmet. Shoulder armor. Copper bracers. All right, and we need to make some more copper, but I gotta put it inside the thing. Wait, do I? Actually, maybe she can make the copper that I have in my hands. No, she can't. It's gotta go in the workshop. Fair enough. Let's go over here, and... Oh, so she did use the copper in my hands. Okay. It's just super expensive. Okay, fair enough. Now, is anyone getting copper? Like, I'm kind of confused. Like, what is the person getting out of the mine? I'm gonna have to look into that. All right, let's look at my inventory first, and oh, look at that! Fifteen defense on the head, five defense on the sh on the bracers, ten defense on the shoulders. Nice, thrash, 
the hell's Thresh? Uh, do you want to hide the helmet or no? Nah. Well, yeah, he looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool with it. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, like I said, I had them... Uh, this thing was a 25 copper before I left. When I came back, it was 22 copper. And I'm looking at my, my miner. And she's dropping off resources. And that right there is copper. See? So where's all the copper going? Now, she just dropped off resources. Oh, okay. So the copper just got dropped off. All right, cool. I wonder if I could set up extra miners. Let me see. Um, stone is going to be an issue. Uh, 36 stone. That seems like a small amount. Let's go stone person. Right there. Dropping off resources. Okay. So she just dropped off some stone, right? 38. Okay, so they're just, they're just really slow. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. It looks like we got some crazy uh, active quests to, to do, but that's going to have to wait till next episode. If you guys ended up enjoying the video and you want to see more of this game, let me know in the comments. Make sure to leave likes, tell your friends, share it everywhere. You know, you know the you know the drill. Also, um, if you are not subscribed to me, please, please, if you're one of the people who enjoy my content but is not subscribed, which is about half of you, uh, you know, consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me. And um, you know, if not, if I haven't earned your subscription today, that's cool. I'll get you next time. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.